What's up everyone, this is Andre from Indie Arts Midwest and in this video, we're going to go through the process of setting up a two-wheeled vehicle from Blender to Unreal Engine 5, as well as a few tips and issues you'll come across along the way. This might be old news for some, but it's new to me. You can easily export your vehicle in an FBX format without any armatures and apparently Unreal takes care of the rest. Now, honestly, the last time I made a wheeled vehicle in Unreal was a few years ago, so it's no surprise that I'm a little behind on the info. However, challenge accepted, right? So let's take a look at the different ways we can set this up. So the first thing to take into consideration is the type of bike that you're using and the complexity of your mesh. So to keep things simple, maybe start with a standard motorcycle setup and go from there. For example, this video I'll be using a model by this user. Don't forget to check out the other content they have available, and I really appreciate the quality of your work, so thank you. As it currently stands, you have a primary and secondary option for exporting your two-wheel vehicle. This has to do with how the handlebar is set up in your mesh. We'll get to that later. For now, let's focus on preparing the mesh and getting it exported. I start by separating all of the primary pieces, the main body, wheels, and handlebars. You may have more pieces depending on the complexity of your mesh. However, most non-moving parts will remain in the body. Another issue is trying to get the correct origin for the handlebars. Exporting a primary mesh means that there will be no bones. This will have an effect on how the handlebars rotate in Unreal. Without an armature, the object relies on its own origin and in this case means that rotation will be offset. Set the location, rotation, and scale for the body. And just the rotation and scale for the wheels. Scale it up to the character's size. Be sure to apply the scale again. Next, we'll create a fake wheel which will perform all of the physics movement for the front wheel. We'll also go to the material settings and give it a new one outside of the motorcycle textures. This will be made transparent in Unreal 5. Parent the rear wheel and fake front wheel to the body. All that is needed is to select the outer rim of each wheel and duplicate.
Shift C to center the cursor and Shift S the first wheel to the cursor. Apply scale and add a solidify modifier. Set the thickness and apply. Export the wheel collisions front and rear. Repeat the same process for the second wheel. Now we can focus on the secondary part, so create a vertex group for the front wheel and handlebars. Next, make sure an armature consisting of a root, handlebar, and wheel bones.
for the handlebar bone, we'll want to match up the angle of the fork. So we can get this from the main body by shift S, selecting the top and bottom of the fork shaft and match that up with the head and tail ends of the handlebar bone. Name the bones and set their relations. Front wheel bone to handlebar and handlebar to root. Control J to join them. Select the handlebar mesh and Control P with empty groups. Select and apply the correct vertex groups. Feel free to test your rotations. And finally, export as an FBX with these settings. Now we can select the front, rear wheel, and body. Export as FBX with these settings. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.